to Sam Create the Heart, and I'm back with another installment of the Paper Dog Collab. This is sponsored by Poet Spice. She is our host. Uh, make sure you visit everyone um, in the collab. This is a collab where it's using those dies to put together an image, and it could be an actual like doll. Um, it could be an animal or anything else that you have to put together. So I've been working through a lot of my Spellbinders dies that I've gotten and I have not used. And here's a brand new one that I got recently. This is called Thankful Tractor. And this was a large die of the month at what time? And I think it's large die. And I, September 2022, I got this for $5 in a recent clearance sale. Um, I don't know that I would have picked it up if it wasn't $5, but it made some super cute cards. So in my um, extra cards, not the one I'm going to be making on screen, but the ones I'll be showing at the end, I use these trees and these strawberries. Um, tailored Expressions made the trees and then Lawn Fawn with the strawberries. And then for the card I'm making today, and I also use it for one of my other cards, I use these sentiments from Scrapbook Diva. And I was smart enough to actually write down the names of the sentiments. I can't believe I did that because I never do that. <laughs> so I did, and thank goodness I used them for two of those cards. Um, I'm also going to be using these um, dies from Not Too Shabby Shop. This is, I forget what it's called, Fall something or other. Um, it was last year's release. It's still available, I believe, on their shop. Um, and this technically probably would count for the collab because I actually put this together. But I put it together on screen because I could not remember how it went. I actually had to watch a video. Um, so that's a fun one that's just going to go in there as well as, as an additional little doohickey for my card. So you ha can make the tractor and then the crate. So if you just wanted to make the tractor, you absolutely could, could do that. Um, but for these cards, I am making the tractor and the crate. Like you could do the tractor, like if you were doing a country card and you were had a barn or some animals, you might not do the crate. So um, maybe the crate by itself could be hauling pumpkins or something. So, you know, you definitely could break this up because to put them all on a card, you are going to need something a little bit bigger than your standard size card. I'm doing slimline with these. Um, because I want to be able to get, you know, the whole image on there without squishing it too much. And, um, and I wanted to add a little extra something to, to all my cards. So you'll, you'll see that. So it comes in these different pieces and it is very helpful to use the, um, you know, on the back side of the packaging, it does show you sort of the different pieces, even though, like, it took me a hot second to figure out what went with the crate, um, but I did eventually do that. Um, and I kind of screwed up on this one because that very first, I don't know what it is, bar, of, I guess, of the tractor um, kind of goes in the front. I mean, you could do it anyway you want. You can make it more like a Jeep. I mean, why not? So, um, it, it, I think it'd be a really cute Jeep, actually. You know, instead of a tractor. I mean, I guess that's kind of what it is because I did them all different colors. Um, but it comes with all these different pieces that you can use to customize your tractor, right? You could do different color wheels. Um, in my samples, I think I did pink wheels on my strawberry one. You'll see that. But you could do different wheels. Um, you could do the different um, pieces of the tractor and make it different colors. Um, there's a lot of options there. And, and actually, look at this. It does look very Jeep-like. So you could definitely do something, you know, more like in the savannah with all the with lions or whatever. So I, I think this is a really fun, fun dive. So here I am putting together all the little extras that kind of personalize your vehicle. And, you know, once you got it together, you know, it wasn't too bad. I mean, it's a little fussy, but not fussy in a way that's obnoxious. So now for, and I kind of messed up a little bit because I kind of forgot, um, but you could decide how you want to do it. So you can do your crate where you put your slats on the front, 
you could do it where you put the slats on the back. Um, I don't think it matters. Um, I think for this one, I think I decided I want to put it on the front. So you can see I kind of changed my mind. But either way, I think you're just, it's going to look fine. So you could decide how you want to do it. But I decided I want it in the front for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. But I think in the back would be cool too. So either way. And then you could just use this as a wagon, right? Yeah. So, uh, but this is, I don't know, being hauled with stuff. So I'm using the vegetables that come with the kit. So you get a pumpkin, some sort of a gourd, squash, I don't know. Um, and you get corn. So I don't know if you get anything else. Eh? I can't remember. I think you also, I don't know if you get something else, but I used the vegetables that came in the kit. So, and then it has this, it almost looks like a license plate, but like a sign that you could put on the side of your crate. And then there is my sentiment from Scrapbook Diva, all put together. And so I've got a slim line. My slim line is three and a half by eight and a half. And so this is a green piece of paper I had in my stash, and I ran it through my 3D embossing folder. I forget what it's called, Cross Your Heart, maybe? From, maybe not. It's, this one's dots. There's one exactly like it, it's got hearts. But I've had this, I got this from Spellbinders, uh, I don't know when. <laughs> but recently, and I like it, it's very, it's very versatile because you kind of use it for everything. So I just wanted a little bit of texture on there. And so, um, I'm forgetting how far off camera I am. I do find that sometimes things don't stick real well on those, and so I am using foam tape to kind of help me stick these pieces down. And so I'm going to be doing foam on my tractor and on my crate, I guess it is. Um, but I'm cutting a tiny piece for attaching my Jeep to its trailer and so and I, I want to have this pumpkin kind of in the background and so I was just kind of trying to figure out like was my <clears throat> crate piece going to interfere with my putting that pumpkin down because it's a pretty large pumpkin so I kind of want it in the background. All right, so now I've got, you know, that on phone. I'm going to go ahead and kind of decide what I'm going to do about this placement. Um, and I kind of ended up putting it more towards the corner anyway, so it's all good. But, um, you know, put some glue on there and it wasn't sticking real well, so I put that down. Um, it's all fine. <laughs> then I kind of had to finagle where I was going to put my other piece there. And then my scarecrow chicken thing <laughs> i don't know what it is a scarecrow is a chicken i don't know is gonna go right there in the front um i just thought it was a cute little addition and then there is the sentiment which i also have on foam so right there on foam and i'm gonna stick it right there in the corner And I just love how it came out. These cards are great. And I think it's super cute. So here it is all done and put together. And I'm going to show you the other two cards that I made using this set. So the first is Christmas themed. And I use those trees in different colors of green. And I use some pre-made um, sentiments from Pinkfresh Studio and then this one is strawberry themed. I use those strawberries and I use that sentiment from um Scrapbook Diva and I love how it came out. Thank you for watching. It's the same kind of art.